Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! Okay, this problem is going to uh, talk about a converging mirror. Uh, it says the radius of curvature of a converging mirror is 24 centimeters. Uh, first thing it asks us to do is to determine the focal length of the mirror. And then once we have that, we are to draw a ray diagram, uh, locate, describe the image, and that is 30 centimeters from the mirror. So let's, uh, let's look first at the focal length of the mirror. Remember that is directly related to the radius of the curvature. We know that the focal length F is equal to essentially half of that radius, or R divided by 2. So, to find the focal length, we'll put in our radius of curvature, which they give us is 24, divided by 2. That will give us a focal length of 12 centimeters. Now, once we have that focal length, we can start diving into uh, what's happening in the situation here. It says for us to draw a ray diagram and locate and describe the image um, of an object that's located 30 centimeters from the mirror. Uh, the first thing we'll want to do is figure out, now that we know the focal length, is to figure out where the image is actually going to be located. Um, to do this, we'll use our, our mirror equation, which basically takes 1 over the distance of the image plus 1 over the distance of the object and we know that that equals 1 over the focal length. Okay. Again, we're trying to find the image distance, so that's our unknown. The object distance is given to us as 30 centimeters and we've calculated our focal length as 12. Remember, an easy way to put this in your calculator is to just use the uh, negative one exponent. So if you want to enter it in this way, that's a quick way to put that in. And when you solve, you'll get an image distance of 20 centimeters. The next piece of information then that we would like to help us before we draw our ray diagram is to look at the magnification. This will help us uh, learn a couple things, not only the size, but also um, the orientation of the image. So um, our magnification equation, again, just simply is a ratio of the image distance divided by the object distance. And so we know both of those uh, pieces of information. Now our image distance was 20 and our object distance was 30. And It doesn't matter what units those are in as long as they are the same units so we end up with a magnification of negative two-thirds. Okay now the last part here says to draw a ray diagram and describe the image that we get. Now we've started a little bit already. Uh, we have our principal axes. We have the points F and 2F marked. We also have a converging mirror. And so we'll start with that. That is our mirror. The next thing we want to do then is add our object. And our object is located 30 centimeters from the mirror. Earlier we found that F was 12 centimeters. So 2F would be 24. So for an object that's 30 centimeters away, uh, we need to place it a little bit outside the point 2F then. Now we're ready to draw in our rays. And again, remember we're gonna be looking for three different ones. First, we're gonna draw a ray that is parallel to the axes, so a horizontal line. And when that ray strikes the mirror, it will be then bending through F. The second ray is sort of the reverse of that. It's going to start by going through F and striking the mirror. 
And when it then is reflected, it will reflect in a horizontal path so that it is going parallel to the axes. And so it'll follow a path similar to that. And then lastly, for our third ray, which remember is kind of a double check because we can already see here where these other two are crossing. But our third ray, we're going to aim directly at the center of the mirror. And when that one reflects back, it will reflect off at an equal angle to its angle of incidence and hopefully cross at the same point as the other two. So now we have a position for our arrow. We can draw in an inverted arrow. So now we have both an object and an image. When it says to describe the image, we already have a few factors for that. Uh, for instance, we have that the image distance is 20 centimeters. That matches up with our diagram. Our magnification was negative two-thirds. And remember that the negative part then indicates that this image is inverted. And the final property that we should also talk about is whether or not this is a real or virtual image. All three of these rays actually do cross at one point. And so since those are real rays that are crossing there, we have a real image.